Okay, welcome to Science 10. These are the topics we're going to be going through in this short 10-12 10, 10, minute video. So here is your course homepage. And the very first thing that you need to do is introduce yourself. And that's done in the discussion area. So let's go and look at that right now. So you're going to go to communication, discussion, and introduce yourself. And I'm not going to do it right now, but you're going to go compose. Oops. And here is, is the three things you need to put in your post. So you're going to do that. And once you've done that, <coughs> just go back to the course home. <coughs> uh, once you've done that, you're going to be able to see the assignments. So let's go underneath content, where you'll be spending a lot of your time. So under content, you've got course information, the different units. And let's go and just open up one of these pages. So here's chapter two. So these are reviews of what it is in the textbook. And I'm going to show you where to get that in a second. So here's the chapter two assignment. So the best thing to do is just to download it. And here is, I think that, yeah, this is chapter two. And basically, you're going to fill in all the yellow parts. And this is opened up in Microsoft Word. And if you don't have Microsoft Word, then you can use Open Office. And you can also use, if you're on a Mac, you can use Pages in this class. And what else? So what else is on this page? We, um, we got some quizzes. So we'll actually, we'll just go to that right now. Let's go to the quiz page. We're going to be bouncing around here. So we've got chapter quizzes, and there's you've got some due dates here. And these ones here you can do as many times as you want, and it, the grade is the highest one on a quiz that you get. So if you get if you do it three times and there's ten questions and you get like six, seven, and nine, then the grade for this quiz would be nine out of ten. Also, what we have here is these monthly self quizzes. So you got two of those, and and they'll take about two or three minutes to do, and just gives me an idea of where you are in the course. So you got to do this before the end of July and before the end of or, or before August fifth. And the other type of quiz is these self assessments right here. And they're like quizzes, but they're they're practice quizzes and they're not worth any grades and there's one per chapter and you notice I gotta do a couple more here so let's just go back to content here um, let's just open up one of these pages and so what we'll do so here is 2.2 and so it opens up and is that, okay so we're gonna have to do some so this is 2.2 so review what's in the chapter um, in the book and I'll show you where to get the book and here's some videos that I want you to watch and some outside links that you can uh, go in and look at. Uh, let's go back here. So we've got review. This is a PDF, a review, another resource for a review for chapter one, a review for chapter two. So probably the best thing to do with those is to download it because you can see that's a PDF, Microsoft Word. Let's go back to the course information. Um, how to contact me, my phone number. Okay, course outlines, probably important. And so here's the different chapters you're covering. So the midterm, be sometime in the middle of July. We don't have the exact date right now, but by the end of June we will. We'll cover the first five chapters and you've got to do all the assignments and quizzes before you're allowed to write the midterm. And so it'll be one or two days in the middle of July. And then the final exam, it will cover all the, the chapters. And it'll be about 80 multiple choice questions. So here's the textbook website. I'll show you in a second where you can download it as a PDF. A little bit of software that you need. Open Office right here if you don't have Microsoft Word. So you can go to that. And this here is how your marks are going to be broken down. So 50% on exams, online quizzes, 10%, some discussions, which we'll go and look at in a second. Chapter assignments, we just showed you those. And the orientation, which you've done. If you're watching this video, that means you've done that. So let's go back to table of contents, uh, resources. And here, so this is the data booklet you'll get on the two tests. 
this is the textbook it's a PDF so you can download that these are the textbook there's review sections in the textbook so I gave you the answers this is a student workbook I have them for ten, I got actually only a few for ten dollars if you want to come in and buy those you can come in and see me um, these are the workbook answers and pro some practice exams so that's it in content so let's just double check here it's just chapter three so we got some reviews of three one three two three three a PDF review the assignment and quiz now after you've done the assignment what do you do with it so we gotta go into the Dropbox so assignment Dropbox and so here's the Dropbox for the assignments and it's just like attaching a document in an email so you can see here's the due dates right here in the far right hand column once you submit it and we mark it you'll see a grade and some feedback so if just open one of these up oh we got a rubric to give an idea of what we're looking for and this is where you're going to add your file right there okay so what have we got under got some glossary terms, some links which are on the course homepage. We'll go look at those and some grades. Let's go. So we're going to assessment grades and this is basically the flow of the course and you need a grade for all of these things. And you can see your grade as it's been added up. Uh, rubrics, out, okay. Discussions. Let's just go back to discussions. So after your chapter 3 assignment you're going to be given some videos which you're going to have to comment on and I'm not going to spend time but I'll let you read through all of this you'll be given three different videos and you're going to have to make a discussion post and reply to other learners also in the discussion if you've got some questions about the course I want you to put them in here and that way other students um, we'll be able to get some help but if it's a personal issue or private issue definitely email me and the best way to email me is go to class list click select the teacher tab and find your teacher right here so it's there email the only problem here with that is you want to copy that and just put it up here Make sure you go to subject line and put in your um, whatever you want to say, and then hit send. Okay, what was else was it? So then you can go right to your email right here. There's a link here. There's a link up here. Dictionary help, e-library help. So let's, and then we got some links here. You won't be using this link because we're going to set up tests for you. You probably won't be using this, but some of the assignments are going to ask you to take pictures or draw things, and I don't want the, the file size very big, so there's a couple links here to help you with that. Take a, If I ask you for a screenshot, that shows you how to make a screenshot, um, how to get your provincial exam mark and provincial exam dates, and but more information on that later. Let me just pull this thing back up, make sure we covered everything. So course home grades, yeah, we did that. Introduce, you won't see the assignments until you introduce yourself. The due dates we talked about, the Dropbox, chapter quizzes, you can do those as many times as you want. Um, discussions, we talked about your video. There'll be three discussions. You'll get those videos after chapter three. We talked about the midterm, final. Each one of those will take about two hours. Monthly self quizzes, you'll have two. We went through the content, links, email class list to find out who your teacher is and I think that is it if there is anything more definitely email us or go into the discussion